All right, guys, so I'm really excited to start this project because we're gonna be using these two boards. This is a really fun project that you can make. It's super simple to do, so if you're just getting started in woodworking, I highly recommend doing this project. It's also a project that you can sell online and make some money to pay for your hobby or start your woodworking business. Now, what we're gonna be making is a, a towel rack for your bathroom or kitchen or wherever you wanna install it. And we're gonna be doing a farmhouse look. I'm gonna show you two looks that you can achieve. One is more just a clean look and one is gonna have a little bit more embellishments. Now we're gonna cut all this down on my miter saw and I'll have all the links to everything that I have in the free plans that I'm providing. You can check them out right here if you're interested. Also, um, if you have any questions during this whole process, be sure to post in the comment section below. All right, well, let's head over to my miter saw and cut everything down. pieces for this project out of those two original boards and just so you know I basically cut the end off just like this on each board giving me a total of four pieces now this is going to be the front this is going to make up the back and then these are going to be the left and the right side now before we attach everything we need to know how we're going to be attaching this to the wall and I decided I'm gonna be using the keyhole method to attach this, and I'm gonna be creating a keyhole in the backboard with a router bit. Now, what I wanna do is show you how to do that and the best way that you can do it, because sometimes it can be a little tricky if you don't have everything set up correctly. So let me go get my router and show you how we're gonna be making the keyholes for this piece. All right, the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna get one of these brass pieces. This is a guide for your router to create patterns or to follow things, uh, to create templates. Then you wanna get a keyhole bit. That's what this is right there. You can see the profile, and when it cuts through, it creates a little keyhole. Now, this is a plunge router, so it can go up and down. You can see um, I can move it, and we are gonna use this as a guide uh, for the jig that I created to create these keyholes. Let me show you the jig. So you can see that this is a jig that I created. It's really simple. It's just basically two pieces of wood and then I glued in this MDF and this is where that little brass channel goes and I have a stop on the back and a stop on the front. Now the piece of wood slides right in just like this and then I put the router in. So let me grab that, I'll show you and it's gonna go in right here, just like that. And then you're gonna plunge it down, so you're gonna push it down, and then you're gonna move it up, and it just moves just a little bit, and then you move it back, and then you pull it up, and then it's gonna create a keyhole. So we're gonna do it on this side, and then we're gonna push it all the way through, and we're gonna do it on this side. So let me uh, run this and show you how it works. assemble everything together and just to kind of give you a look this is what the keyholes look like you have one over here and one right here and we're gonna assemble this project using tight bonds quick and thick glue the reason why I like using this stuff over the other glue is that it doesn't it's not as runny um, when you're working on smaller projects like this and you want to control your glue from running uh, this is the stuff you want to use so we're gonna glue everything and then we're gonna use some brad nails to hold everything together. So let's start assembling this.
assembled, and now it's time to move on to sanding. I'm gonna grab my sander and I'm gonna sand everything down and then we'll move on to staining. Okay, I have sanded the top and the bottom. Now what I wanna do is I wanna put uh, some wood putty in these little holes. I put two brad nails on each side. You wanna use the minimum brad nails possible because uh, you don't wanna have a whole bunch of wood hole putty seen. So I'm gonna grab my wood putty, put some putty on this, let it dry, and then we're gonna give the front and the back some sanding, and then uh, we'll start staining. Putty those up, you can't even see them. I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit and dry, and then I'll come back and sand everything, and then we'll be ready to stain. Stain. I'm going to use Early American Pez. That's my favorite stain. So I want to take a moment here and I want to show you a second style that you can use in making this towel rack. Now, this is something you wanna do before you apply the wood putty to your holes. Everything's glued up and sanded. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a 45 degree bevel on all the edges. Now, what that does is it softens this look up. You have this, which is more of the traditional uh, right angle look, but we're gonna put a nice little bevel all the way around. And you don't have to do this, it's just another way that you can make this towel rack have a little bit different of a style. So let me go get my router and rat off those edges. We finished staining this, now it's time to go install it. Alright, so I hope you really liked this project and that you found this really helpful and inspiring to go out and make things and sell online. Well, if you like this video, you know what to do. Smash that thumbs up button for me and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you don't wanna miss the next video. All right guys, till next time, I'll see you later.